Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some Forza Horizon 2 hype, hype, hype this week. Um, basically, this is going to be a build episode. Um, last build, I made this a Dodge Charger. It's absolutely insane. It's probably the best drift car I own at this very moment in time. Uh, I think just the long wheelbase, uh, the power is perfect, and the angle it can hold is just absolutely insane. But there's enough for that car, so if you want to check that out, it is on my storefront. It is on my last videos. Uh, so go check that out but for now we're on to the next car um i don't really know what right, to choose dude. to be honest Let me um, know what you need. i went into the wrong thing then fucking hell um i don't really know what to choose i'm just gonna i'm gonna scroll through and the f dude what's up how can i help okay there's a 370 right there should we just do the 370 then it's right there let's do it why not 370z I uh, see what paints there are. I, I, I don't think there's going to be any good ones though. Um, Nismo, not bad. Uh, they all look pretty terrible. Okay, let's just stick with a stock colour. Wrong button again. <coughs> okay, let's press Y and then we can choose a colour. Here we go. Ah, uh, nice yellow one. Let's go with yellow. Be out of the blue. Uh, no one's going to choose that, are they? We could be the one of a kind. Nice yellow. 330. No, 370, sorry. <laughs> I own a 350Z in real life, so if I keep saying 350, um, it's probably because it's like installed in my brain. Uh, let's leave the auto show. Yes, so I want to get into the upgrades. But this loading screen is taking forever. Okay, hey, upgrades. Custom upgrade. Here we go. Okay. Conversion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with a stock engine. I uh, do like a VQ engine. Even though there is a... I think that's the RB, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go for the Skyline R34 RB. Um, chuck that in. Uh, very nice engine. I really like that engine. That's the only reason I'm chucking it in, to be fair. Uh, otherwise, I would've uh, stuck with a stock engine. Because uh, I do like VQ engines, but in terms of drifting, they are a little bit sluggish. So I'm going to go with that RB. Uh, it's known for good drifting and stuff. So um, In terms of bumper, Nismo looks nice. Let's go for that. Um, spoiler, I'm going to go with no spoiler. Okay, why did I even try to choose it when it was already chosen? That hurt my brain. Um... That one looks a lot better, let's go with that. And side skirts. Uh, you can choose whatever body kit you want, by the way. You don't have to do the same as me. Uh, I'm going to stick with a stock uh, body kit. So now we're on to tyres and rims. Stock tyres, sticking with the stock tyres. Okay, let's go 265s on the front and on the rear. 285s, that'll do me perfect. There we go. 265s front, 285s on the rear. Okay, rims. You could choose whatever rims you want on this car. Uh, I'm going to choose... Hmm, what would be quite nice on this car? To be fair, they're, they're quite nice. They suit the car quite nice as well. Alright, let's just go for them then. Let's have a quick, quick butchers. Yeah, let's just go back to them. Um, where are they? FKS -E, FKSE FM slash tens. Okay, never heard of them before, but let's go with them. Why not? They look quite nice, suit the car quite well as well. Alright, rim size. They're stick stock. They look too big. I, I, I just can't handle big wheels. I'm just not a fan of big wheels, so. Let's just leave it stock. Okay, drivetrain, we're going to do everything race in here, so. Chuck all this on. Quickly. Um, driveline, we want that, of course. Uh, this is already up to A class, which is pretty insane, to be honest. Uh, differential, we obviously want the differential. Okay. Now, platform and handling, we want race brakes, we want to stop the car. That's pretty much logic, that one. 
And we want brake suspension, we want to get as low to the floor as we can, so that looks quite nice lowered. Um, anti roll bars, we do want braced. Oh god, it's frozed. Oh, oh what's happened? Okay, we. <laughs> it has so frozen. Alright, some more <laughs> anti roll bars on here. Uh, roll cage. Can you see it quite well? I don't know. You can't see in the back window there. Ah, it looks alright though. You might as well go for the roll cage. Okay. And race weight reduction. We do want you. Okay. So 1,200 kilos. That's really quite light for a 370. Um, so onto the power. I'm just going to do the basics here. Air filter, exhaust, and then work from there. Okay, so we're up to 368 horsepower, which is quite a bit to be fair already. Um, but I'm feeling quite a bit of horsepower in this, so I'm talking about 500 to 550 in this. Um, try and get the wheels spinning very, very nicely. Uh, so I've done a race intercooler and race oil and cooling as well. I'm going to chuck on the flywheel just for now. Okay, so we got that. Uh, camshafts will boost it up a lot. Okay, here we go. So that's up to 491. Let's get us closer. Uh, maybe an upgrade the turbo. 556. About perfect what I was aiming for, like 550. Uh, so let's just do that. So that's all that upgrade's on. Uh, let's give it a drift now and see if it's see if it's okay at stock. You never know, it could be the best car ever and I don't even have to tune it, but you could always wish for that, huh? Okay, let me just turn up the volume quick. Whoa! <laughs> okay, the rear likes to come out. No reaction on the front tyres. But it is rainy at the same time, so I have to remember that. Gearing is a little bit long. I like to drift everywhere in gear 3 on uh, Horizon 2. Like, for Forza 5, I was more kind of... More of a kind of gear 2, gear 3 person. But on this, uh, just gear 3, to be honest. Um, but let's, let's give it a go on the section. Uh, let's go up here to this section here. And let's give it a go. Okay, so we enter. Oh my god. I need so much more. I need to lower the tyre pressures in the front. So bad. Okay, we need to get these tyres spinning so much easier than this. Uh, very hard to control, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god! Maybe a bit too much power? I don't think so though. Uh, 370 is quite long wheel based as well, so I wouldn't have thought so. Okay, so let's jump in to the tune-in section. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so let's put a, pretty much a base tune on this. Um, felt very loose in the front, so I'm just going to lower the tire pressures there. And the rear seemed fine, so I'll leave those. Uh, gear in, I'm going to drop it down a bit. <coughs> More towards acceleration. Camber. Forza Horizon 2 for me, I run a lot of camber. I need my tyres spinning up a lot for a Forza Horizon 2. It seems to work for me, so I like a lot of camber. Uh, let's put a lot of caster on. Uh, and your roll bars look pretty nice. I'm going to bring up the rears though and make it a bit stiffer in the rear. Springs, let's go a tiny bit stiffer. I like my cars quite stiff, so. Uh, you might not like these tunes to be honest, but every tune is catered for a person, so if it's not made for you, then just make slight adjustments, make the car softer if you want it to have more body roll and stuff like that. Uh, quite simple adjustments that you can make. So that's dampening the rear, aero, braking, and let's lock the differential 100% and 100%. Okay. Let's give this a little sesh, see if that has gone a, a lot better. You leveled up. Okay, the tyres are a lot better now. 
Why did I just touch the brake? That's my fault. <laughs> why did Why did I actually just touch the brake? I was mad. I had a spasm in my foot. It's like brick. <laughs> Love the sound of the RB though. Ah. There isn't full control in this car yet, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the power wasn't there. I was mad. What? Like driving that Dodge Charger, that just that would have just gone out to the Gone out and just drifted through there, just perfect. So I'm just gonna drop tire presses in the rear, uh, alignment in the rear. I'm gonna drop that as well. Maybe I was just went a little bit too loose on the rear. Oh shit! Okay, let's go. That's better. A little bit more control there. Ah, oh, the motorbikes. Fuck the motorbikes. Normally use those as a, those as a gate, but this guy is this car's weird. Okay, so that went through there fine this time. I can't get my head around this right now. Let's give it another go. Run was so good until that last corner. Car felt a lot better that time. Fucking hell. Um, what I am going to do is drop the tire pressures in the front a tiny bit again. Uh, it just doesn't seem like much reaction in the front tires, so let's try and get a little bit more grip into them. Uh, let's take it down a tiny bit and let's see if that helps. I think the problem with this car, there is a lot of power in it, so it does take a lot more effort to keep it going. Uh, obviously in my cars I normally don't have this much power, so they're normally a little bit easier to control than this, but I think the power and the wheelbase length is coming into factor here, but it's still a very, very, very nice car, I'm not going to lie. Like if you're comparing it to my Dodge Charger, then it's no contest, like the Dodge Charger all day, every day, because that car is just immense. But if you're comparing it to uh, any other drift car, probably on pars with it, so... Wow, I had to pull out of that, I was going to hit that car. Okay. No, I didn't react. That's so weird. Okay. Where have I gone? I've gone past it, haven't I? Yep. Alright, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back in. In the ting. Okay, let's drop tire pressures again. Uh, but what I am going to do is do a tiny bit more acceleration on gear three. Okay, that's that. Um, lead camber, anti roll bars, and all this is fine. So it's just just minor adjustments here uh, with the tire pressures and camber here, really, uh, because I just want to get that you sweet spot where it's just. Available. Not too much grip, but there's enough grip that you can control the car comfortably. 
I say that. So it's all about finding the, the sweet spot now. Oh my god. Oh shit, that's my fault. This car looks epic though, I love the look of it. I'm so wedged. Fuck life. Kind of debating taking power out of it to be fair, just to make it a little bit more controllable, but... I kind of want to master this. I want to... Really? Why, why didn't you just turn right and just be nice? See, that was, that was very easily controllable then. So I, I don't know if it's the car or maybe something else, but... Like, there is a lot of power in it, so you've got to be careful on the throttle. I think that's where I'm going wrong. I'm just flooring it everywhere. If I was carefuler on the throttle, I, I think it'd be a very, 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 very good car. But I've got a lead foot, so... No chance of that happening. Get out of my way. Come. Alright. <laughs> Wow! Wow, how did I get through there? That was mad. Yeah, buddy! All about that life. Alright. <laughs> Let's just jump back into here quickly I just want to make the gear in a little bit shorter again because it's still very long gear 3 it's insane how long it actually is so let's go quite far to be honest let's go like 4.6 and that is a lot uh, just say to see if I took it a bit too far here He wasn't even going to turn that way, like, he was going straight and then saw I was going this way, he was like, oh, let me get in your way. All the yellow cars around here, yellow mob. Okay, I think that's... Oh my god, the amount of cars around this area right now. Oh, you drive a 4KA. I'm not even going to reverse. Like, you just deserve to get out of the way. Get out of your way. Alright, <laughs> let's just reverse because I can't keep crashing into you. <laughs> I've just reassessed the situation and I'm not going to keep crashing into you. Uh, but I think with this shortened gear in, it is a lot better now. Still got the power there so we can just go from corner to corner. But yes, we got this now. This car is. I think I've hit the sweet spot. Oh, okay. I entered that far too early. Fuck. Uh, I think we've hit the sweet spot here. To be fair. It's a very, very fast car to drift. So hope you guys do check out this car. Very, very fast. Uh, I never looked at the beach actually. Let's just have a quick look at the beach. There's actually people on it. That's mad. Hello. <laughs> Get up off the floor. Yeah, but <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this, uh, feel free to give it a like. Also, comment what car you want to see in the next episode. Um, and yeah, check out this car. I'll put it onto the storefront. So if you guys want to download the tune, you can do that. Or if you want to copy this tune from the video, go ahead and do it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's a lot of power in it, so be careful. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.